Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I got new tires for the reps and it's time to get the fitment dialed in and the flares done. Okay, so if you have a look over here, you can see now I've got the flares fully on, uh, I've got the black trim on, I've got the rib nuts in. If you come over this side, you'll see uh, this is what the rib nuts look like underneath. You can see I made a mistake, got a spare hole on this side, but that's all good. Uh, I've got the flare down on the back. You can see the fitment is good, but can do a little bit better, less camber. Um, so today's job is adjusting the ride height, getting everything set up perfectly. Um, it's about 5.30 now, hopefully we can catch some daylight, go out and give it a quick bath. So let's go. So first thing is I've got the coil over off on this side. Uh, we're just going to dial in the fitment. It needs to be raised a little bit so it sits underneath here. It doesn't hit, although this is all going to be cut. I just needed to make sure it all fits perfectly. So I'm going to put the flare on, put the wheel back on, because adjust the suspension and let's see what we can do. Okay, so fitment on the front, pretty much perfect in there. There's enough room now for the wheel to move without hitting the guard. Um, rear needs a little bit of camber, but height-wise it's pretty much perfect. Um, let's see what the front looks like. Front's good, but could do with a little bit less camber, so we'll pop it up again and see if we can drop a couple degrees of camber out. So you can see on the top here, we have quite a bit of adjustability from the camber. That's max camber in, that's max camber out kind of thing. Okay, so if you look close, you can see that's where the old camera setting was, and that's where the new camera setting is, so it looks a little bit better in terms of fitment lining up. So we'll drop it down and see how it looks. So you can see that's much better. It's practically perfect. Did the other side as well. Spot on. And you can see really good on the top there. Uh, so I'll just tighten them up with the Allen key and then we'll move to the rear. Now in terms of height, the rear's got enough adjustability and it's set up perfectly. It's just the camber I want to fix. We're almost going to go no camber at all, but having a look at the rear, it's actually on the inside here. I don't know if you guys can see, but in there it is. So I'm going to change the side and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I got my torch with some extra lighting. I've actually moved the camber uh, bolts themselves. So you can see they're really close. If I go around to the other side to give you an idea. There's quite a fair amount of adjustment in where that middle thing sits. So I've actually moved the pins so it sits differently. Um, let's drop it and see what that side looks like versus this side. So you guys can see this side is a lot better now. It's practically flush if I go zoom in there to show you the front there. That's the front and you can see it is like we're talking perfect as fitment so that's mint i love that if we go on the other side um this is what it looks like without that setup kind of thing um so that gives you an idea of what we're looking at um so let's do it to this side and then roll it out and see if we can get a quick wash in So any of you guys are wondering what I use, all Bowden's own. I've uh, got the Bowden, Bowden's own snow cannon here. And their snow film. Uh, let's give her a quick bath. So I don't know how much of that uh, got recorded because my battery died halfway through it. But you can see I got the, uh, the car all nice and clean. Um, nothing fancy, just a quick foam bath. I'm loving 
the fitment, the flares, and the combination between the wheels, tyres, everything just looks absolutely perfect. Um, I'm going to roll it back in while I'm actually going to use the lawnmower to tow it back inside because it's a bit heavy to push. Up this little lip here, it's too hard by myself. Okay guys, uh, so we've got the car under cover here. You can see it's looking really good overall. You know, the tyres getting a lot more grip on the ground. You can see how much of the tyres now touching. Um, just overall, I'm really impressed. Yeah, everything's slowly coming together. Um, looks really good. In terms of paint, uh, I'm going to drive around unpainted for a while. But she's going to be tuned up soon and going to be making some good noises with the, uh, the surprise under the bonnet uh, and this cheeky front mount I've got here. So keep an eye out for some future videos coming the next couple of days about that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this video was kind of just thrown together, but I just wanted to share with you guys the progress of how it's coming for everyone that is interested because I do get a few messages about it and it's coming along. So I'm really happy about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, just subscribe if you like. Uh, any comments down below or message me on Instagram at unrulywx, same as the username. Otherwise, yeah, chuck a like. So see you guys enjoying, but yeah, thank you guys. Peace.